<laughs> Yay, Mo Jibbles. Are you gonna play? Play, damn it. Hi. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> Alright, cool. What's up, rascals? It's been a long time since I've played a kitty horror show game, but they're back! Uh, on the night of Halloween, she dropped Volume 4. Volume 4 of Haunted Cities. And so, without further ado, I bring you Exclusion Zone. The certain do certainly does feel like I've been excluded. Hello? Excuse me? Where do I go? Did I get locked out? You know, I'm just gonna follow these links because it's the most logical thing I can think of. These little, uh... Light poles! In a line. Oh wait, this is actually a trail here. Okay, I'm dumb. Okay, so how are we doing with this whole monochromatic thing? You know what? I should match the theme. Ha! Haven't done that in a while. So, how are you guys doing? I am great! Except for the fact that I'm exhausted and my life is full of regrets of every moment of every day. Um, is that just the game talking or am I just being weird? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, usually these games are walking simulators. There's nothing like out to get you. It's just creepy atmosphere and ooh, choices. Or does that just go in a big old circle? Oh, well, no way to find out. Turbo speed. Oh, is that an ocean I see over there yonder? Let's, ooh, steps. Let's go up. Well, you know what? Let's, let's go up this way. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh! Based on local historical records and architecture of the region, we are confident that this was a religious structure of some kind. However, its arrangement and composition are unlike any si Is that an elevator? I don't know. Uh, unlike any similar religious structures of the era or territory, despite superficial architectural similarities, previous examination teams have failed to recover any furnishings, artifacts, devices, etc. that would expressly describe the henceforth temple's purpose. Well, and while local accounts, examinations of ambient radiation patterns, and simple visual observation of the surrounding countryside leave it beyond question that the temple was the epicenter of the devastation. In other words, they caused some shit. We remain entirely ignorant as to how it was the, that the disaster came to pass. This remains the chief objective of all examination teams dispatched to the exclusion zone. So this is basically like a overhyped archaeology expedition. Oh, that was that wasn't a change of scenery. That was that was like that was kind of a flashback. That's what that was. All right. So, flashback to me, like, reading a dossier or some malarkey, or someone spouting at me some kind of thing about this religious structure that we know nothing about. Are we gonna have another flashback? Yes. Hello. The swooping, asymmetrical fins of the forward sheltered area have been something of a mystery to previous examination teams. Their shape and positioning perfectly enables them to gather moisture from the air on balmy days, back when the climate of the air had not been irreparably, wow, irreparably changed, and such days were still possible. So we're also dealing with global warming and climate change of a odd variety of, I don't know, 
I don't I don't know what why am I doing this to myself why am I looking at this what why didn't I finish reading that oh the hubris all right um so what Ooh, I want to go over there can I go over there how many flashbacks am I gonna have to stare at before I actually get there Geiger counter going crazy! I hope my radiation suit can handle this bullshit. We're at the Church of Chernobyl. <laughs> Hello. A white marble octagon. Is this where they fought holy wars? Or had, uh... Had... UFC matches between clergymen? That would be kind of funny to see. Bishop Greenhill weighing in at 275 pounds. <laughs> fighting... Oh, I don't know, fuck. <laughs> the Overlook for a Mercy is one feature of the temple which can at least be partially explained. Were it not for the exclusion wall, the overlook would provide a grandiose view of the nearby lake, which is a feature the temporal shares with all similar structures of the region. Can we go to the lake? I could use a dip. Also, I, again, I didn't read the whole thing, and I, that's probably, well, at least, at the very most, I'm not going to get the full story of this place. And that's kind of a shame because that's the whole point of this. The oh, oh, oh god, no, damn it. I I did the thing that I always do. <laughs> oh well, let's go to the lake. Watch there be a flashback once I get near the water. Cool. Neat. All right. So, um can I climb this all um Elder Scrolls style. Yes, so far, so good. Puppet combo and kitty horror show games. They let you, they let you wall crawl. Nice. All right, cool, 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 cool. I don't have to go the long way around. That's a, that's a bonus. Except I'm going the long way around. Oh wait, nope. I can go straight over here, back to the octagon. Mysteries. Reveal thine self to me, please. Whoa. What is that? Oh, more radiation. Well, I am. Do I hear a ringtone? Like a. Okay. Oh, let's keep going up. Or maybe eventually we should go over there. Unless that's. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Note to examination teams, extreme caution advised when approaching main tower of the temple complex. Ambient radiation at dangerous levels. Protracted proximity to tower heavily discouraged. Eventual fatalities extremely likely. In other words, don't go near this place, you will die. The tower, being the obvious centerpiece of the temple structure, is presumed to, by most of us to be the nucleus of the disaster. The continuing extremes of ambient radiation originating from the tower's apex prevent approach. Which is probably why you can't fucking figure out what happened because you can't get near it to figure out what happened. Logic, big brain. This has long frustrated us for obvious reasons. It is extremely difficult it is exceedingly difficult to piece together the specifics of such unique event using only secondary accounts, archaeological hints, and speculation. Most believe the answer to everything is waiting there at the tower's highest point. But our curiosities go ever unsatisfied, because we are bitches and we can't figure out how to make a stronger radiation suit. <coughs> we have been... <coughs> Excuse me, the radiation's getting to me. 
We have been looking into potential alternative means of inspection, including possible aerial passes, long-range examination from atop the exclusion wall, the training and application of eastern... The fuck is that word? Due to their intelligence, manual dexterity, and immunity to most known forms of radiation. Ooh, is this a, is this a species of some other kind? Okay, cool. We deal in with aliens. What's that got to do with religion and radiation? Why the hell not, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oof. Okay, so that is actually... Another way up. You know what? Screw it. Let's see what happens. Radiation and death be damned. A gruesome death. So what? I seek knowledge, bitch! From the recovered notes of Examiner Satuna, deceased. She was wronged. None of this would have happened to had her sisters not wronged her so. She would have been so lonesome. Wouldn't have called out like she did. She'd have kept her old worshippers, the ones who knew how to build her temples and channel her stones, the ones that came from where she came from. She wouldn't have had to call out across the sea to a place she wasn't known. They, uh, I feel like this ties into another game I've played of hers. Like, Actius. I wonder if those tie in together. That's why it happened. I'm sure of it. She will, she will be vilified once her name is learned, but it, was, but it was her sisters who broke her up and threw her down. God, that sounds like Actius. Gods above, it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. How long she must have lain there under the sand, hurting and lonely and angry, and not knowing what she did wrong. And now this. So much devastation just because she wanted to be loved, and because they wanted to love her but didn't know how. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me! Did I just jump? I did jump. Okay, should I, should I stay or should I go? How about that? Two musical references in one video, and in, in less than a uh, matter of minutes, I guess. I don't know. Is there more? Let's go this way, just because. Yo! More radiation. This looks like a new area. Ha ha! I knew it! It is reasonable to assert that the exterior area of the north of the main structure was a plot of some kind. Many such monasteries and isolated religious com communes of the time featured similar outdoor areas used traditionally to cultivate a staple crop that the temple's residents could survive on or could use for trade with nearby settlements. However, it remains impossible for us to determine just what was grown here. Pot. That's my guess. No reason. Soil traces betray no sign of any of the plants indigenous to the area, or indeed any surrounding regions from the seeds may have been imported. I may have missed a few words, but that still made sense, sort of. Stranger still, radiation of a kind entirely unique to the modest plot can still be found in the soil, suggesting the growth of some kind of radioactive plant with an extraordinary half-life. Distinct even from the radiation that filled the area in the wake of the disaster. Absolutely no historical accounts of such a plant exist in any archive throughout the entire peninsula. Consequently, this small area of ground is of great interest to us. Examination teams are encouraged to check the area thoroughly for anything that may provide further information, no matter how seemingly minuscule. Okay, so check this bitch out. 
take a good long look. See if we can't find a potato. A radioactive potato. I would assume that if there was anything to interact with, it would show up a reticle. Right? Baby? I'm gonna get going. There's nothing to see here. I can't find nothing. I want a nuclear spud, but they won't give me one. What a jip. All right. Down the funky archways. Ooh, down to the lake. And this time for sure there'll be a flashback. I'm 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 betting. I'm betting pretty hard. <laughs> yes? No? Maybe? Oh. Yep! Ha <laughs> ha! Easily the most baffling part of the temple at large is a pair of... Again, words I don't know, so I'll butcher it. Cairn stones on the shore at the... That was a horrible placement for that glowing light and white letters. I can't read this if there's shit in my way. But there's a mystery spike right there. You look like obsidian now. There's noises. I want to know why. Why is there noises? Is there any point to any of this? Am I going to solve something? Am I going to observe something? Or have I already observed everything? The mystery is abound. But seriously, given that whole spiel that they, like, spewed at us inside the tower, I have a heavy suspicion that this game is somehow related to, uh, I think it was Actius? Another game where there was a deity that was torn in pieces and uh, was not happy about it. Well, that's for sure. Oftentimes I'm left absolutely confused and and not even sure if I've completed everything in a kitty horror show game. So, well, I think I've explored everything that there is to explore here. If not, I don't know. In any event, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.